This is problem number one. The problem says, calculate the wavelength in nanometers of a photon emitted by a hydrogen atom when an electron drops from the n equals 5 to the n equals 2 state. So as it turns out, there's actually a formula that relates the energy of uh, uh, the, that is emitted to the change in states. And it's called the Rydberg equation. And that equation is 1 over lambda, which is the wavelength, equals r, which is the Rydberg constant, uh, 1 over n initial minus, or sorry, n final minus 1 over n squared initial. Okay? So there's the equation. Now, the problem asks for the wavelength, and they give us the two states. So, um, we're just going to plug those values into the equation, and that should get, get us the wavelength. So the next step will be 1 over lambda equals, this r is a constant, it's always going to be the same. So the Rydberg constant is actually 1.097 times 10 to the 7 inverse meters. And that's times 1 over the final state. The problem says that it drops from n equals 5 to n equals 2. So the final state is going to be uh, 2. So we have 1 over 2 squared minus 1 over 5 squared, because that was the initial state. OK? So um, the next step would be the same thing, 1 over lambda equals still this constant, 1.097 times 10 to the 7 inverse meters. When we actually do these squares, it's going to be 1 quarter minus 1 25th. So you plug all this into the calculator, you're going to end up with, with uh, 1 over lambda equals 2303700. And the only unit is inverse meters. So that's still the unit. But we're solving for lambda. We don't want inverse meters. We want uh, meters, or a, for a good unit of measurement. So we're going to do um, the inverse of both sides, or uh, 1 divided by both sides, basically. So that's going to give us lambda equals 4.34 times 10 to the negative 10 to the negative 7 meters. Um, but the problem asks for the wavelength in nanometers. So the conversion factor for that is uh, 10 to the 9 nanometers per 1 meter. The meters are going to cancel out. And so the answer is 434 nanometers, which is choice B on the test.